All right. Well, welcome everybody. Happy Sunday morning. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. Welcome to New Beginnings Church of the Big Bend. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia del Nuevo Comienzo. We want to welcome all our NBC family, yes. visitors, and all joining us by audio or video. Amen. Amen. God has great plans for you, and all of them include... None of them. None of them include defeat. Amen. Yes. All of them include win. Yes. Win, win. You win on the winning side. Amen. Winning side. Listen, God has great plans for you. He ha ha Make yourself available. And this is yes. what we were talking about. When you make yourself available, oh. He wants to use you. So sometimes we hold ourselves back. Yeah. But He wants us to be available. For yes, us to be used by Him. Amen. Amen. So remember, you're greater. Yes. Greater is he that sent you than he that is in the world. Amen. I'm a winner, I'm a champion, yes. and I'm an overcomer. Let's remember these things. We need to get into the word Amen. and confess the word. Man, we, we're going to have a good time. Praise God. Yes. So grab your Bibles and let's yes. make this declaration together. Amen. Amen. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be talking the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Woo! Hallelujah. I'm excited. So, you be excited. Amen. We've been talking. Last week, we were talking about being available. One of my favorite subjects is we got to make ourselves available to Him. You know, um, I've heard this so many times. You know, well, God don't want to use me or God is not using me well we need to make ourselves available yes. amen listen to this God will use you or God will use you what you make available to him uh -huh. amen you remember the story about the little boy yeah the little boy went and he was in a crowd and he sent the disciples out to go and see what people had out there to eat mm -hmm. and the little boy made himself available yeah. he didn't have to share but he shared anyway Right. And he had the five loaves and the two fish. And he brought them to Jesus. And the disciples were really thinking negative because they thought, well, that's not enough. So let's send him away. Uh -huh. Jesus says, whatever you make available for me. Yes. Okay. Is enough. Amen. Remember, he's not, it's not about our abilities, our inabilities, but our availability. Yes. This Amen. little boy made himself available, made his lunch available, and it fed all the people that were there, yes. and there was baskets, 12 baskets full afterwards. Yes. So listen, all you need to do is make yourself available. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. Forget about the negative stuff. Forget about the past. You know, some of us are still hung up in the past. Oh, Lord. Amen. So we're going to be talking, we're, we got scripture about all this, but we got to let the past go. Yes. Amen. The people, if you're not for God, you're for the enemy. Uh, and the enemy is going to use people to come and remind you of your past. Right. Let your past go. It's gone. Since yeah. the new is in, the old is gone. Yes. Amen. So, man, I'm Thank excited. You, I'm getting way ahead of myself. But That's anyway, okay. here's our, our text. was uh, Isaiah 6 and 8. It says, also I heard a voice of God saying, whom shall I send? Hmm. And whom will go for us? Yes. Then said I, here am I. Send me. Send me. Okay, he wasn't thinking about, am I qualified? Am I good enough? Uh -uh. He was saying, I am available. Send me. And I read this to you last week, and I'll read it to you again. But it says this, God isn't looking for abilities, but rather availabilities. Yes. Amen. God doesn't call the qualified, he qualifies the call. Yes. Right. You are called, you are anointed, you're qualified, Amen. totally equipped. To fulfill what God wow. has called you to do. The main thing is you gotta stick take that step of faith. Yes. And you gotta step out of your boat. Yeah. And say, here am I. I can do all things all through things. Christ, mm -hmm. through him who yeah. strengthens me. Amen. Yeah. Ooh, Amen. Man, you need to take that. You need to write that down. And, and read it every day. Remind yeah. yourselves, you know, because yeah. you hear so we've been talking about the negative media out there. All all they want you to know is think negative. And all we want to do is put fear on you. Uh -huh. But he's not giving us a spirit of fear, but That's a power right. and a love and a sound mind. Uh -huh. You know, there's a lot. We hear a lot of uh, uh, Christians being killed right now. Uh -huh. Why? Because they wouldn't denounce the name of Jesus. Yeah. They wouldn't give up the name of Jesus. Right. Right? Amen. Are you yeah. for God or not? I'm for God. They wouldn't step down. 
they right. make themselves available to it and they're still available and now they're with him but still you know we just pray for them and pray for the families amen so yeah. praise god but god wants to bless you encourage you and change you yeah. and he wants to correct us amen yeah. so what we want to do is we want to make ourselves available to it change on a daily basis amen yeah. so god will use whatever we make available to him what is it you're giving give of yourself amen we have a lot of good things here we go be available it says if you are faithful that means you're available because yeah. faithful people make themselves available yeah. it doesn't take great skill or gifts to serve god it takes someone that is available and willing to serve amen but you yeah. must be available in order to do this right say lord here am i send me you're good enough yeah. god placed you here and you're good enough amen? amen so forget about what the world says forget about what the family says forget about friend what friends are saying <coughs> and you know what you need to clean your mind yes. renew your mind with the word of god so you stop thinking negative it's time to start thinking positive amen, amen. so praise god we just gonna review a few things and then we'll get back on it Mark uh, 1, 17 and 18 says, And Jesus said unto them, Come ye after me, and I will make you fishers of men. And straight away they forsook their nets, and they followed him. We're talking about professional fishermen. Yeah. God called, and they just left their job, and they followed him. Yeah. Amen. He's called each and every one of us. But some of us have not answered the call. Yeah. We need to answer the call. We need to be obedient. Yeah. They left their, their jobs and they followed him. We yes. need to be followers of Jesus Amen. and not followers of men. Amen. Amen. So praise God. God said, I want you to be available. I want you to be passionate when it comes to loving me, serving me, and living for me. Remember, you got to speak it. Amen. You got to do it. You got to live it. Amen. Amen. So let's do this. Amen. Step out of faith on a daily basis. Yes. People are available and passionate about everything except God. Come on now. It's ringing the bell for somebody. Yeah. <laughs> We're not making ourselves available. We need to make ourselves available. Yes, we you know, we've, a lot of times we make ourselves available for the wrong things. And then we feel bad about it. Amen? So let's, let's not go there anymore. Be available and passionate for God. Amen. Praise God. On a daily basis, not just once in a while. Have a winning attitude, Amen. not a losing attitude. Hallelujah. And uh, I think uh, I talked to you about the four passionate, the four passionate uh, friends yes. that took their friend. Jesus was in the That's area right. and she was preaching at a house. And these four friends brought their friends to Jesus. Yes, they did. They couldn't get in. They wouldn't take a note from Jesus. So guess what? They went up on the roof uh -huh. and they tore the roof. Yeah. I don't know who the owner yeah. was. <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't say what happened. <laughs> Maybe they help them fix it afterwards. <laughs> so we're available to help you fix the roof after this. But they wanted Jesus. They wanted to lower. They lowered him right where Jesus was. And Jesus didn't refuse him. That's right. Jesus saw their faith. Yes, he did. Do you see the good in people yeah. instead of the bad? A lot of times we put people down instead of lifting them up. Oh yeah. We can't go there. We've done too much of that. Amen. Mm -hmm. See people with the love and compassion of God. Yes. Amen. We're his yes. children. Yes. Amen. Yes, we We're are. supposed to be imitators of God. Mm -hmm. yes. Amen. Not the world. So mm -hmm. let's let's remember this. He told he told the man, he says, <clears throat> stand up. He says, pick up your mat and go home. The man, and the man did what he told him. Yes. Yeah. A lot of times God has told us things and we put it on the ship. And we forget about it. Mm. He says, the cripple. He didn't say, I'm, I'm crippled, I can't do this. Yeah. He said, he jumped up, grabbed his mat, and yeah. walked out through the stunned mm. onlookers. Amen. <laughs> he says, wait a minute. No. What's going on here? Mm -hmm. But you know what? God is able. Amen. Yes, Every is. part of him was functioning uh -huh. normal. So, Father, there's a lot of people watching you right now, and we're just praying for them, Lord. Yes. Whatever the situation may be, COVID-19, whatever it may be, whatever yes. sickness, we just call it well. And yes. we call it healed because your word of God says so. Amen. Amen. So we're standing with them, Lord. Yes. And we're standing on your word. 
And they were amazed to praise God passionately, exclaiming, mm -hmm. We've never seen anything like this before. Mm -hmm. Stick around. <laughs> <laughs> <Amen>. <laughs> You know, I think there's a part in the Bible where it says he used the donkey. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if he knows donkey talk, but uh, he used him. Yes, he did. He says, why are you leading me? <laughs> I'm helping you. I'm carrying you. I'm taking you where you need to go. Keeping you from getting killed. And he says, wow, he was stunned, you know, because it, it, you ever heard a donkey talk? No. No, but he did. Mm -hmm. Amen. So God will do greater things. Yes. Greater things than this. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Let me see where we're going to pick up. So we're going to pick it up right here. God has a plan for you. Yes. Okay. He has a plan for you. We're always thinking about somebody else. And wow. yeah, so and so is, is educated. So and so is it's got everything it takes. Mm -hmm. Well, so have you. Yes. But we got to renew our minds and get the yes. unbelief and get the uh, uh, traditions out, the wow. mindsets yeah. out. Yeah. Amen. Right. And start thinking the way God wants yes. us to think. And man, I'm going to hook up with what the Word of God says. Yes. And I'm going to do what the Word of God says. Amen. Yes. Amen. Jeremiah 29 11. Well, let's see, let's see some more of these kind of ones. Mm. There's some good ones. Okay, that's our <laughs> text. It says, Make yourself available to God. Yes. Go ahead. You are God's masterpiece. Ephesians mm -hmm. 2 and 10. Write these down so you can go yes. check for yourself. And read them from different translations. Uh -huh. You are God's masterpiece. How can you be a God, be God's masterpiece and think like junk? Mm. And think bad mm. of yourself? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yes. You're beautiful. You're a masterpiece yes. in God's eyes. Yes. So why are you thinking so bad about yourself? Mm -hmm. You know? Keep going. Man, these are good. Yes, they are. Woo! This is the same, the same one. That it, I just wrote it out in the uh, King James. For we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works, yeah. which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. Yes. Go to the next one. Here we go. <laughs> We're God's workmanship created in Christ Jesus to do mm -hmm. good works, which God prepared in advance mm -hmm. for us to do. Right. Amen. Yeah. So he put you here for a purpose. Yes, he did. All you need to do is make yourself available. Mm -hmm. Know His Word and know what the Word says so that you can make yourself available yes. and be available for Him, for him to use you. Yes. Amen. He wants to use you. Mm -hmm. Keep going. There you go. What's this say? Ah. Offer yourself to God. Have you offered yourself to God? Mm -hmm. Amen. So a lot of times we just go in there and put our requests in all the time <laughs> and then leave. Yeah. But have you offered yourself without having to say anything else? Yeah, yeah. Lord, here am I, send me. Right. No. It's always somebody else. Yeah. Well, I just go make my demands and leave. Mm. Let's not be that way. Yes. It says, offer yourself to God. Yes. Romans 6 13. Keep going. Here we go. It says, give yourself to God, surrender your whole being to Him. Mm -hmm. To be used for righteous purpose. Yes. Amen. This is Romans 6 13. Yes. Offer yourself to him. Maybe Amen. you're not here because you're not making yourself available. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Amen. So make yourself available Amen. to him. Keep going, friend. Here we go. We're going to be talking about these. This is a human body has many parts, but the many parts make up one whole body. Mm -hmm. It is within the body of Christ. 1 Corinthians 12, 12, the uh, New Living Translation. is one body, but many parts. Yes. So I don't have to go copy what everybody else does. That's right. God has gifted me to do what he's given me Amen. to do. Amen. But I need to be focused and be available for him to use me and do big or small, whatever it may be. Yes. Still, Lord, I'm doing this unto you. Yes. Thank and you. I'm not wanting to please people. Because that wasn't big enough. Mm -hmm. Or that was too small. Mm -hmm. I'm not pleasing you. I'm pleasing God. Yes. Lord, I'm doing this unto you. Amen. Woo. Come on. Amen. I'm excited. <laughs> Go to the next one. It says the body is a unit. Yes. Amen. It's a unit. We work in unity. Yeah. Through it, it, it is made up of many parts. No. And though, oh, excuse me, the though <laughs> all its parts are many, they form one body. 
So it is with Christ. Yeah. And in yeah. Corinthians 12, 12. Just wow. different translation here. Mm -hmm. Amen. But yes. let's do this. Let's 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 learn these things so we can know. We're many parts, but we're one body. Mm -hmm. So you know what, my brother? I I, I don't look at color. Mm -hmm. Don't look at denominations. Right. Look at people, brothers, sisters in Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So we can be a unit instead yes. of divided yes oh, amen right. come on that's what the enemy yeah. uses all the time yes. to keep us divided all the time uh -huh. instead of being united in him mm -hmm. this body and every part in this body functions in unity yes if it was fighting against each other oh, we'd, be <laughs> we'd be in trouble we wouldn't be around <laughs> we'd be i don't know i don't know what would happen but we wouldn't be around here we go this is uh, 1 Corinthians also, chapter 12, verse 27 says, You are, now you are the body of Christ, and each yes. one of you is a part of it. Amen. Yes. Include yourself. Yeah. Amen. Include yourself. Yeah. Don't exclude yourself. That's you right. are part of the body. Yes, you are. Amen. Just like every part of this body, mm -hmm. God put there. Mm -hmm. And it's valuable. And it's being used by this yes. body in unity yeah. with the rest of the parts. So yes. you are part of the body. Amen. So don't include, uh, exclude yourself. Include yourself. Amen. 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 You're part of it. So he has great plans for us. Yes, he does. And Proverbs 16, 13 says, Commit your works to God, to the Lord. Submit and trust them to him, mm -hmm. and, and your plans will succeed. Yes. If you respond to his will and guidance. Yes. If you respond. Mm -hmm. Amen. The New King James says, Commit your works to God, and your thoughts will be established. Yes. So, Lord, I want to stay in tune with mm -hmm. Him because I want to do this right. Yes. Thank Amen. You. I've been away from Him too long. Mm -hmm. Amen. Well, I want to stay in tune with Him now. Yes. When you stay in tune, you're in touch. Yes. You have a relationship. Yeah. And you're going to do what He's called you to do. Right. How do I know what to do? Well, I'm in touch with him. I have relationships. The Lord says, I know your plans that I have for you. To go to the one, excuse me, to go to the one that knows knows you. Mm -hmm. Who do I go to get my plans? I go to the one that knows me. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. Amen. Do not go to someone that misguides you. No, that's Don't go to your horoscope if you do not oh. give it up. Oh, <laughs> Don't go God. to the psychic. <laughs> Don't go to the witch, the booze, the drugs. <laughs> they can't help you. They can't help you. Mm -hmm. It might tickle your ear and make mm -hmm. you feel good for a second. Yeah. But go to the one that knows you. Go yes. to the one that created you. Yes. He says, before I formed you in yes. the womb, he says, I knew you. I knew he knows all about you. Mm -hmm. And you know what? We said it many times, but you need to remember this. Mm -hmm. He knows all about you. Yes. He knows all your shortcomings. Yeah. He, need, he knows your setbacks. He knows your failures. And guess what? He's the one that loves you the most. Yes. He's the one who wants to help you. Right. And that's the one we need to go to. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> that's the one that knows you. And that's the one we need to go to. He wants to bless you to be a blessing. Mm -hmm. He blesses you to be a blessing. He just don't bless you so you can keep it. He blesses mm -hmm. you so that you can be a blessing. Yes. For Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. Amen. Mark 12 and 30 says this. And you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. Yes. <laughs> the Lord will not accept us half-hearted service. Right. Mm -hmm. Part-time. No, he right. wants full service. No, <laughs> he don't want you lukewarm. That's it. <laughs> he wants you on fire. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Revelation 3.16 uh, 3 says, But since you are lukewarm, Mm. Water and neither hot nor cold, mm -hmm. I will spit you out of my mouth. Mm. Amen. Wow. Deuteronomy uh, 4 and 24 says, The Lord your God is a devouring fire, mm. a jealous God. He doesn't want you part time, He wants That's you it. full time. Mm -hmm. Amen. Full Amen. Being a jealous God, God simply means He wants us totally mm -hmm. and completely committed to Him. Amen. God can count on you. Yes. Here I am, Lord. Send me. Send me. You can count on me. I'm, I want to be faithful. I want to be. I, I make myself mm -hmm. available to you. Amen. Yeah. He wants us totally surrendered 
being totally faithful to him he wants us to he wants to be first in our lives yes matthew 6 33 says mm -hmm. seek first the kingdom of god his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Yeah. He desires to be at top of our priority list. Yes, if yeah. you have a priority list, oh, most yeah. of us do. Put yeah. him first. Yeah. Say, I'm not going to change things. Mm -hmm. You might have one through ten, one through whatever. <laughs> but make sure the one is always yeah. God first. Jesus. Amen. Jesus first. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. He wants us to uh, dis uh, stay hungry and thirsty for more of him. Yes. He wants us to be available and passionate for Him. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. Yes. This kind of behavior that it takes if you're going to do anything for Him, big or yeah. small, it doesn't. I'm going to stay hungry. Yes. I'm going to stay available for Amen. Him. Amen. Big or small, whatever you want me to do, Lord. Well, I just want you to go and talk to this person mm -hmm. and tell them I love them. I don't want to, that's not big enough for me. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. He told you to do something. But we're just going to pass on. Mm -hmm. That's not big enough. I mean, is that really God? Mm -hmm. You know? You should know. When you have a relationship and you're intimate with the Father, mm -hmm. you'll know. Yes. He wants you to say something to this person. Yeah. If you're not putting them down, if, you, if it's a kind thing, if it's a nice thing, be kind to that person. You know it's the fire. Yes. He's not telling you to go there and, and talk down to him That's or her. Right. But be nice to him. Yes. You know, that'll make their day. Yeah. Amen. Commit, submit, and be available. Serve and obey him daily. Yes. Be available and passionate. People are people who consu are consumed and fulfilled with what God has called them to do. Mm -hmm. You know, hey. Some of us are gifted in different things, you know. Yes. The praise and worship team, they, they love playing their instruments. <laughs> That's fine. God gifted them in different ways. And they, mm -hmm. Gifted us in different ways. And they love playing uh, their instruments. They love singing their songs. But He's gifted you in a way. And you know, whatever it is <laughs> that He's gifted you, you just love doing that. I don't know why. I always love doing this. <laughs> he's gifted you. And it's yes. not wrong. Right. Available and passionate in a motivated force that caused them to see their dream come true. Yes. Empowered them to overcome fear, doubt, and discourage. Kept them moving forward in spite of how many times mm -hmm. they've experienced setbacks. Yeah. You know, hey, you know what? You beat me for the last time. I ain't gonna do this anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm giving up. Amen. <laughs> you know how many times? Jesus was put down at a time when he went and took a beating worse beating that mm -hmm. nobody has ever took. Mm -hmm. Didn't break him. Yeah. Still, he says, forgive him. Mm -hmm. And we just get a little scratch and we want to give up. <laughs> I say, yeah. oh, now nah, they told me something. I ain't going to forgive him. No, I ain't going to forget about it. Mm -hmm. I, that's it. And I'm going back to church. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Right. Picked him up. He picks us up no matter how many times we get knocked down. Mm -hmm. The heart of, of giving us the courage to do amazing things. Mm -hmm. You know, Peter denied him three times. Mm -hmm. And he could have said, you know, I'm not going to use you anymore. Mm -hmm. Still, he used them mightily yes. in bringing messages that brought yes. thousands into the kingdom of God. He don't give up on you. People yeah. give up on you. Amen. Don't and you don't you give up on yourself. That's right. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> the reason why so many people never see their dreams and visions come to reality is simple. They're not available. Yes. And they're not passionate to do it. Yes. God tells you what to do. But I don't think that's God. Mm -hmm. You know, you have somebody come and just tell you something and say, Hey, why don't you come spend time with us, you know, hang out with us, you know. Just forget about that stuff. Mm -hmm. Man, we join them right away. Mm -hmm. But we forget about what God says. Come on, yes. somebody. Somebody, this is for somebody now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you don't want it, I'll take it. <laughs> Passion, uh, uh, being available and passionate is what caused the disciples in the early church to turn their worlds upside down. Yes. And we can right. do the same thing. Yeah. But they were passionate. They were available. And they were on fire for God. And we need to do the same thing. We get on fire for so many different things. 
and we run and we go and do whatever and spend whatever. Yes. What about him? Mm -hmm. Come on now. Yeah. <laughs> Acts 1 and 8. This is a great scripture. Everybody knows this. But when the Holy Spirit has come upon them, you will receive power mm -hmm. and will tell people about me everywhere. Yes. Okay? In Jerusalem, throughout Judea, yeah. Samaria, to the ends of the earth. How about uh, Alpine, Fort Davis, Big Ben, Presidio, Marfa? Uh -huh. yeah. Wherever you happen Amen. to go. Wherever you happen to go. Amen. Yeah. Wherever you go, still, you're a child of God. Yeah. Still, bloom where God sent you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm a child of God. Now, I'm making myself available where you are. Yeah. I ain't going to no places I ain't supposed to be. So, God, I'm available for your service everywhere I go. Amen. Amen. And He wants to use you wherever you go. He says, I searched the whole world no. to find somebody. Let this somebody be you. Amen. Yes. <laughs> After filled with the Holy Spirit, they were available and uh -huh. they got passionate and yeah. they got bold and yeah. they had power. Yes. Amen. You know what the enemy hates? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the enemy hates when you spend time with That's him. Because you get full of the word. That's right. And the word starts flowing out of you. <laughs> and then he says, I'm out of here. <laughs> so get those fear out. Get yes. those negative things out. Amen. Get full of the word. Yes. And then when you get full of the word, it's gonna fill you. Yes. You ain't got room for this negative That's stuff. Right. Amen. Right. And the yeah. enemy either. And he's no longer gonna keep you down. Mm -hmm. He's no longer gonna feed you not lies, you know, and feed you negative things. Amen. Why? Because I'm renewing it says, You're not doing that anymore, Satan. I'm not receiving that anymore. Yes, you, I'm cleaning that out, and it's gone. I don't want it here. You have no place in me. Yes, Amen. Yes. Praise God. Passion is what caused Peter and John to disregard the religious leaders. Their passion caused them to ignore the threats. Yeah. And to have fear. Their passion gave them the holy boldness to declare mm -hmm. in Acts 4 and 20 it says, We cannot stop telling about the wonderful things. We have seen and heard. Yes. Man, let me tell you. <laughs> Amen. You go to <laughs> off the weekend, you go to work. First Monday morning. What do you know? What do you what's new? What's and new? everybody wants to, you know, just gossip, 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 <laughs> gossip. And tell you the latest and the greatest. <laughs> yeah. The says, We cannot stop telling the wonderful things we've yes. seen and heard. Yeah. Well, I spent time in the Word. I spent time in prayer. Let me tell you. Mm. Instead of doom and gloom, you know, hey, yeah. joy. Joy of the Lord is your strength. That's it. Amen. The truth sets you free. Yes. yes. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Being available and passion would not allow them to be silent. They're not going to stop you from being silent. You know, uh, I was talking to Pastor Pat this morning about, I said, I'm going to talk to him about, about, uh, wasn't what what does soda in a Christian have in common? I say, boy, you know, you get them stirred up, and you open them up, and it just overflow. You have an overflow. Well, you get full of the word of God, mm -hmm. and you open your mouth, and it's going to overflow. Yeah, because out of your innermost being shall flow rivers, rivers of living water. Mm -hmm. You're gonna start speaking the word of God, man. I didn't know that was in me. Mm -hmm. Who is this talking about? <laughs> is this me? Is this really me? Yeah, that's you. It's called maturity. It's called yeah. growth. It's called releasing. Yes. You know, we're not called to hold it mm -hmm. or save it. We're called to release, yes. confess the word, Amen. speak the word. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Lord, Lord. It, it caused them to become bolder. Mm -hmm. You want to be bolder? Get in the word. Yes. <laughs> You'll be bold. Right, bold. Inspire them to say, we obey God rather than men. And some of us been wanting to say this, this for a long time, but we don't say it. You know, a lot of us, you know, I've been wanting to tell you I'm a Christian for all these years, mm -hmm. and I haven't. <laughs> it's time to step out of your boat, yeah. step out of your comfort zone, yeah. amen, and step out in faith. Step yes. out of him. Say, we walk by faith, not by, not by sight. sight. Mm -hmm. We walk by faith and not by fears. That's it. Amen. Would not allow them to seek a comfort zone. Some of us do a lot of that. 
Let me see, where can I go hide? <laughs> I don't want pastor right, to say yeah. anything to me or about me. Yeah. But God will find you wherever you are. Amen. You know, you can't you can't hide from him. <laughs> Got them through hard times. Anybody been through some hard times? <laughs> oh yeah. <yay. laughs> Kept them going when others fell by the wayside. Keep us going. Lord kept us going, you know, when people were just falling off to the their wayside. Amen. Lord, you got a way for us. You got a plan for us. And we're going to keep on pressing on. He says, when you are doing all these things, stand. Stand on the Word. And keep pressing on the Word. Amen. Keep pressing on Him. Available, Pastor, the people live committed lives. They practice their faith and joy and enthusiasm. Amen. Amen. Forget about that. God is calling you today to become available and be a passionate follower for Him. You. Yeah. Amen. You. You know, you quit talking about somebody else. If so and so was here, she, she, she would have been just right for this. Yeah. And, well, you know what? You're getting full so that you can go and minister and witness to so and so. Yeah. And let them know it says you can have Christ also. Christ is for you. Salvation is free. Yes. All you have to do is receive it. Yes. Christ is free. All you have to do is receive Him as your Lord and Savior. Amen. And some of us, come on, the bell's ringing. We got to enter. <laughs> I, I think wow. I told you last week. Uh, God, Jesus sent you a friend request. <laughs> Did yeah. you accept or you deleted it? <laughs> some of us been deleting too long. Yes. Amen. Come you know, on, you man. go to Facebook and, man, I got a friend request from so and so. So many people. Yeah. They want to be friends with you. Make sure it's for the right things. Yes. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Chronicles 2, 6 and 9 says this. The eyes of the Lord, here we go. The eyes of the Lord search the whole earth in order to, to, uh, to strengthen those whose hearts are fully committed to Him. Available. Available. You see. Mm -hmm. God will show Himself strong on behalf of people who demonstrate availability yeah. and passion and passion for him yeah he'll show himself strong for you mm -hmm. amen so he has no favorites you know if the yes, yes. favorite one is you you mm -hmm. you we always well god loves him more than he loves me god uses more than loves than he uses no. me god will use me and you know we always put the blame on somebody else oh yeah no make yourself available be available and god's going to use you Say, praise God. Thank you, yes. Lord. Job 21 and 30 says this. 21, verses 20, 21 and 30. Mm -hmm. Tell us that he will do great things and show wonders in behalf of those who are available, who are passionate about serving him. Praise God. Amen. Yes. Make yourself available. You make it exciting. He wants you to be right in the middle of it. No, oh, we're good. A lot of times we're good and getting right in the middle of trouble. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. we, he wants to, to be right in the middle right. of what he is doing. Yeah, yeah. Amen. And we can do that also. Yes. He wants you to be right in the middle of right it. Right in the middle. I'm, I'm persuaded that the only, only those that are available and passionate will have a role to play. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but I don't want to be left out. Let's see it. I want a part to play. I yeah. told you I love sports. Mm. But if you love sports, you want to play. Mm. I want to be involved. I want, I'm available, coach. Send me. Yeah, right, Amen. He's our coach. No, coach, <laughs> send me. Mm. I'm available. I want to, I want to be involved. But yes. you got to be trained up and you got to be yes. ready. Stay, keep yourself trained up and ready yes. for him to use you. Amen. Amen. I don't want to be left out. How can I be sure I won't be left out? Keep myself available. Keep mm -hmm. myself passionate for God. And keep myself stirred up. Yes. Amen. Yes. Available and passionate people can do this. <clears throat> Stir yourself up. In yes. Him. Amen. Stir yourself up. Amen. So I told you a few minutes ago about the soda. This is what I wrote. It says, yeah. available and passionate people and a can of soda have in common. What they have in common? Mm. It says, stir them up. Yes. And open, everything flows out. Mm. You can't keep it in. That's it. 
has to come out. Your cup runs over. Mm -hmm. Psalms 23. Mm -hmm. It comes out as you minister God's word. Yes. Release the word so it can do its job. Yes. You got the word that yeah. can set somebody free, yeah. but you're still holding it. Yeah, yeah. You're saving it. Mm -hmm. You were afraid mm -hmm. to say anything. Oh my goodness. You have to release it. Yes, you do. When you release it, it'll go and do its purpose. Yes. Amen. Amen. You have everything needed to accomplish what God has called you to do. Yes, you do. It's already in you. Mm -hmm. But you have to do the study. You have to do the stirring up. Yeah. Jesus is in you. Love is in you. Faith mm -hmm. is in you. Power is in you. It's yes. up to you and me to get stirred up and yeah. release. Don't bottle it. Don't hold it. <laughs> release it. Man, you need to write that down. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Don't bottle it. Don't save it. Mm -mm -mm. Release yeah. it. How do I do that? Speak it. Say it. And some of us speak real well. <laughs> uh. We got to let it out. What else we got? Jesus uh, uh, was available. Are you? Yeah. Only you can answer that question. That's it. Amen. You can get with him in your quiet time. Mm -hmm. But you, you need to make yourself available. Keep going, son. God does not ask of our abilities and our inabilities, but our availabilities. Yes. Right. Amen. Amen. Everyone he called mm -hmm. made an excuse. Yeah. I can't. <laughs> mm -hmm. God. With God, He's looking at our availability. Yes. Are you available? All things are possible. Amen. Mm -hmm. I don't have enough of this. I don't have enough of that. You know, mm -hmm. we're always short on some yeah. some way. Some way. But He says, "But are you available? Mm -hmm. I just need you to be available." Yes. Amen. He's the head. We're the body. Yes. How's He gonna get His word mm -hmm. in this world? Yeah. Through His body. Yeah. Us. Thank you, Lord. God has uniquely gifted you to help someone be available as God opens the door mm -hmm. for you to do so. I mean, yeah. It ain't no simpler than this. That's it. He's gifted you help so, to help somebody be available as God opens that door for you. Yeah. And on a daily basis, Amen. the opportunity is there. Yes. Are you taking that opportunity mm -hmm. for God to use you in this way? You know, two hours later, you think about it and say, wow, you know what? I met this person in the street, you know, and this and this happened, you know. I said, man, I didn't think of it. I could have said something. Well, mm -hmm. God was there, and he mm -hmm. was telling you what to say or what to do, mm -hmm. but you didn't recognize that, or you just had fear. Mm -hmm. and you were too comfy mm -hmm. not to come out of there right. yes. and do anything. Keep going. Mm -hmm. We got some good ones here. Yeah. Be yourself no matter what other people think. Yes, and yes. other people always think bad about you. Oh, You're not good enough. You're not qualified. Mm. Come on now. Mm -hmm. If you don't have anybody, I've got plenty of people on my family. <laughs> <laughs> Be yourself no matter what oh, other people Jesus. think. God made you the way you are for a reason. Yeah. Besides an original, it's always worth more than a copy. Yes. God made you an original. That's it. Quit trying to compare yourself and say, well, I'm not good enough. Mm -hmm. Praise yeah. God. Mm -hmm. Be original. Be yourself. Yes. Be available. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Amen. Whew. The power of God is available to you today to help you yes. do whatever you need to do yes. with a smile on your face. Thank yes. you, Lord. His power is available yes, all yes. the time. All the time. Not just sometimes, but mm -hmm. all the time. And we need to take that opportunity. Yes. And the opportunity is there. Be available Amen. to do so. Keep going. Thank you, Lord. God only needs a willing vessel to use. Yeah. Yes. Are you willing? Mm -hmm. That's all he needs. Forget about the abilities, the inabilities. Mm -hmm. All you need is a willing vessel. Mm -hmm. Here am I, Lord. Use me. Yes. Here am I, Lord. Send me. Yeah. Amen. Keep going, Carl. Sometimes your only availability, available transportation is a leap of faith. Yes. <laughs> I'm a, I got to step out in faith mm -hmm. because I don't know how God's going to do this, mm -hmm. but he wants me to do it. So I'm just going to step out in faith. Yes. Amen. You know how many of us have been there? I don't know how this is going to happen. You don't have to. He knows. Mm -hmm. I don't know how he's going to do this. You don't have to. He does. Yes. Amen. 
All I need to do is be a willing vessel yes. and step out in faith. This is you. This is me. Amen. So mm -hmm. he's talking about us. Yes. You and me. Keep going. Mm -hmm. Woo. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> I have this for the church. <laughs> I was going to rename this to Be Available. But it says the be attitudes. <laughs> and the first one here is be available. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, these are good for you to practice on a daily basis. Yes. Amen. But it says be available just a few. Be yourself. Be blessed. Be committed. Be faithful. Be obedient. Humble. Teachable. Forgiving. Loving. On and on and on and on. Yes. Amen. But we need to do these things. Yes. Be these things. Amen. Praise God. Remember Christ. His love and compassion shows through you. Amen. Yeah. If we practice these things instead of being mean and ugly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Amen. Yeah. Come on now. A whole lot better. Yes. Amen. And we would, wouldn't be so upset all the time. Yes. <laughs> okay, Carmen. I got them all. <laughs> <laughs> Praise God. Keep going. Be, be happy. That's one. Let, oh, that, that was it? Okay, yeah, I was going to close with that one. <laughs> so stir yourself up. <clears throat> you can be available and passionate. Don't sit on the sidelines like most Christians do. Just spectating, yeah. judging, you know, yeah. being comfy. Oh, yeah. Come on okay? now. Come on. Don't you sit on the sidelines. Mm. Get involved. Yes. Be on the cutting edge. Yeah. Participating. Mm -hmm. Being involved. Knowing I can do all things through all Christ who strengthens me. Yes. Knowing I have the word in me. Yes. Knowing God is on my side. Yes. Knowing yes. I'm on the winning side. Yes. And I'm going to press on and do these things. I'm going to be involved. My decision has, has been made up. I choose not to be average. I'm an original, not a copy. No, I am right. anointed, called by a supernatural God. Mm -hmm. No, I'm a natural guy mm -hmm. with his super makes me supernatural. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a supernatural guy going somewhere to happen for somebody. Amen. Amen. Mm. I'm anointed, called of God. Mm -hmm. I'm a winner. I'm a champion. I can do all things through Christ. Things. Remember. Yeah. Yeah. Remember who you are in Him. And remember who's back to you all the time. Yes. And remember He never leaves you nor forsakes you. That's right. He's always with you. Yes. Praise God. Amen. Amen. So say this with me as we close. Yeah. I choose to keep myself passionate. I choose to keep myself passionate. And stood up for him. And stood up for him. There you go. Praise God. Amen. So thank you, Lord, Praise for your God. word. Help us, yes. Lord, to be available to you yes. at all times, Lord. All times. In Jesus' name. So praise yes. God. Yes. Thank you. Thank and you, those of you that are listening, those of you that are watching, if you never accepted Christ in your life. Now's the time to do so. Amen. We don't have to close until you have this opportunity. So yes. praise God. All you have to do is say, Lord, I've sinned against you. I, re I repent. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Yes. And start studying. Start yes. going to a Bible-based church where you yes. can go and study the Word. Amen. And get yourself growing and going for God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 And uh, all of you that are hurting right now. Father, I just yes. thank you that by Jesus Christ, yes. we are healed from the crown of our head to the soles of our feet. That's what your word of God says. That's what the word of God says. And we're, yeah. we're, we're yeah. standing in yes. faith, Lord. Touch your people, Lord. Yeah. Touch them, Lord. Heal them, Lord. Yes. And we believe this, Lord. And we stand on your word in Jesus' precious Jesus name. name. Amen, amen. amen. Yeah. Praise God. So, time to give. Yes. If you're watching or listening, you still want to give you your tithe and offerings. Amen. Go to our website, nbcbigben.com. Mm -hmm. Hit that donate button. If you're mailing it, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. Yeah. Just wanted to take this opportunity to say thank you. God bless you. God loves you. Mm -hmm. We love you. Amen. Mm -hmm.